One of the biggest challenges that travelers have had that want to explore the Mara is time and distance from Nairobi all the way through. Long travels are usually exhausting and we normally need a place to stop over to take a bite, refresh, or even stretch our muscles. Getting a suitable place could be tricky, especially if you're traveling to a new place. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Adventure Series on Treza Kim Show. To our returning viewers, thank you so much for your unwavering support. Your continued presence means the world to us. To our new viewers, Karibuni Sana, you're at the right place. Welcome and consider sharing the inspiration with others. Particularly, thank you so much for the love that you showed us on our last video. Such support is what inspires us to bring you more. As we all know, I recently embarked on a journey to Masai Mara, which was really amazing. If you haven't watched the video, please click on the card above and see how it went. On our way back, just 150 kilometers from Masai Mara, we stopped at Narok. And it being a new place, we were stranded. Luckily, we stumbled at a newly built place called Emirishui and we were lucky enough to have one of its directors take us around. Hi, my name is Sanao. Welcome. Welcome to Emirishui. We're actually a new baby. Uh -huh. We had a soft launch yesterday and I'm very happy to show you around um, Emirishui and uh, to get to see what we have. Emirishui in Maasai means victory victory or conquering, right? Mm -hmm. So please, follow me. So this is our um, cafe area, fine dining, and an area where you can sit and enjoy and have a good time, drink lunch. We have a full menu, and we have one of the most amazing chefs this side of the Sahara. And here, this is our accommodation space. Welcome. As you can see, we have eight cottages in total, and um, we have tried to make it as serene as possible, as intimate as possible, and as beautiful as possible. I'd love to show you one of the rooms so you can see what it looks like. This can comfortably accommodate a single client or two clients in the room. This is an example of one. As you can see, we have a comfortable sitting area outside where you can come and enjoy the view in the morning, have a coffee if you'd like. Welcome to the rooms, Karibu Sana. So we really tried to make the rooms as comfy as possible. When you're booking a vacation, you want to go to a place where you can relax, relax your mind and have a good time and enjoy your money's worth. So as you can see, we've tried to make it really good from the paintings to the comfortability of our furniture, to the space and how we've used it. We've also tried to make it as safari as possible, right? Um, come in and look at the bathrooms. All right, so as you can see, we're also trying to incorporate natural lighting into the space so that you can feel like you're in touch with nature as much as possible. Um, and like I mentioned, we had a soft launch yesterday. We were able to sell out all of the rooms yesterday. And so we're very happy because I feel like we're off to a good start. Out here, we have a pool, a sizable pool um, where the kids can enjoy and also the, the guests that are staying with us can enjoy a swim. Good thing about Narok is that we have very good weather. So this is a typical um, afternoon in Narok when it's nice and sunny. You can enjoy the pool, have a cocktail, have a cold drink. Uh, perhaps I can show you the middle space which happens to be one of my favorite areas here. So all the rooms by the way look the same. All the eight rooms look like this one and here we have this beautiful space in the middle with the grass and we have an area right at the end maybe you can follow me so right there is also a spot where you can sit and relax and enjoy your drinks and enjoy your time here So this happens to be one of my favorite spots uh, in this place. One of the biggest challenges that travelers have had that want to explore the Mara is time and distance from Nairobi all the way through. So this is a space that we've created for all travelers wishing to explore the Mara 
to have a stop over here because this is now where you begin to enter the heart of the Mara. If you stop over here, you can enjoy lunch. And what we've done actually with our package is, uh, if you book to stay with us, the Mara is a few minutes down the road from here. If you stay with us, we, we can have you, we can take you over for a safari drive in the morning and you make it back for lunch. If you're traveling on the way from the Mara or to the Mara, we can also give you packed lunch uh, for you to have on the way. This is an amazing stopover where you can come and learn more about the Maasai culture, who we are as a people. I'm Maasai myself and the Mara means a lot to us. So this place, Emirishoi in itself, even what we've named the rooms, is really personal to us. For us as Maasai, Maasai people, we are people of culture, a people of spirit, and I really hope that when you come to Emirishoi, you will get to experience the spirit and, the, and the, the, the vibrance and the love that has gone into creating this space, and we cannot wait to share it with you. You can find us on the socials. Our website is, website is going to be up. I believe we'll put it somewhere on the description below. <laughs> and we'll also share our numbers. Our doors are open. Karibu Nisana. Which is your favorite name? Why is it a bit desert? Like I said, Maasai were all about family. Mm -hmm. The names in the rooms, um, names of people that mean a lot to us in our family. So I'd say Jones is really personal to me because in my family tree, the, the father to my grandma at the top of the tree, that represents him. Yeah, so that. Yeah. What you about this place is the food. Yes. Please tell us a little about it. Our food is amazing. We actually happen to have two of the most amazing chefs mm -hmm. uh, on this side of Narok. Uh, we have a full menu uh, from pizzas to Italian cuisine to local cuisines. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you need, we can offer. Mm -hmm. um, so like I mentioned before, mm -hmm. um, if you're staying in, mm -hmm. we have three options, bed and breakfast, uh, half board and full board. Mm -hmm. However, we also have an open menu for walking guests that come in. You can order your lunch, your dinner. This happens also to be a perfect location for people that want to bring their kids for birthday, for weddings, uh, for bridal showers, baby showers, all that. Mm -hmm. So on order, we can uh, be able to prepare whatever it is that you need. And also, we do that at a very affordable price. I love for place any cafe may look at you. Yes. Why do you choose the place? Obviously, proximity mm -hmm. and ambience. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to us for you to be able to enjoy your money's worth when you book a vacation. To be in a space where you feel like you're truly away from home, but also not too far away. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, here to Nairobi should be like what an hour and a half hour, an hour forty-five minutes max, or two hours. Mm -hmm. So it's quite accessible. Oh yes. Okay, you have just given us the best description of the place that Thank you could ever ask for. Thank you. We are so appreciative. And I hope Mta Jaye place, it's really awesome. They have amazing food. It's near Masaimara, so you won't have the hassle that we say and Lawapi, Takulawapi. The place is I love you kokaribuna barabar. Uh, for, to get to this place, you can look at their website, check out the description. Also, remember to book with Heartland Safaris for discounted prices. Mkumbuka ku subscribe to Treza Kim Show. Thank you for the support so far, by the way. We really appreciate. Also, Mangalia Heartland Safaris, they have the best packages and the best to experience you can never ask for. Sunshine.